Welcome back queens. I have another tutorial for you guys today. This is my second attempt doing flat twists using perm rods on the end. As you guys can see, I use quite a bit of them. So let's go around right ahead and jump right into this tutorial. So first we're going to start on freshly washed hair. I did shampoo my hair this day. I will leave the products down below that I actually used on this particular wash day. But oh my gosh, look at that fro. Woo! <laughs> so we're going to start by dividing the front half of our head into two sections and I'm just going to pretty much fast forward through this because you guys pretty much know how to section your hair off into sections. So again, yes, we're going to have two sections in the front and then we're going to have one large section in the back. We're going to be using some of the Argon leave-in buttermilk. Oh my gosh, this does smell so good. And I'm just going to apply that on that whole section, you guys. As you guys can see, of course. <laughs> and you guys, I just love this. I actually got this from one of my curl kits a couple of months ago. So if you guys haven't seen those videos, I will leave the links listed down below. And we're just going to work that in and then furtherly, and then go in and further detangle. And then I'm just going to apply my favorite oil, my Marula oil from Marula Nature. You can pick that up at Sally's. And again, I will leave all the links of all the products used in this tutorial down below in the description bar. Okay, and now we're going to be using, of course, perm rods. I use the purple and the pink ones. And I'm going to use my Botanical Bliss Lemon Meringue Styling Custard. And I'm just going to use about probably like a dime nickel size amount. It's not going to be a lot because, again, we don't want our hair to be necessarily heavy. But we want the product to give the hair enough hold. And then I'm just going to take a perm rod. And you guys, I should have been wrapping the ends first and not starting at the root. That's another thing that I learned on this tutorial, but as you guys will see near the end, um, you'll see what to do and then what not to do. But as you guys can see, I wrapped the hair around the perm rod, making sure that the ends were actually lying flat. That is why I said I should have started at the ends first versus starting at the roots. And so we've just done this first back half section. As you guys can see, I didn't style them any particular way. Um, I just tried to make sure each section was pretty much about the same amount of hair. And then we're just going to move right on to the front. As you guys can see, I've already started with the flat twist. So we're going to start with this small section here. And I'm just going to go in and I've already applied the leave-in and the oil. And I'm just applying my lemon meringue styling custard from Botanical Bliss. And so the only way to explain how to properly flat twist is you're supposed to start with two small little strands and then wrap them around each other. And then each time you begin twisting, you go and you grab a smaller section that is actually left out. So you see I'm actually making sure my hair is taut. And then when I go into flat twist, I just make sure I take a smaller amount of hair to actually wrap around that remaining strand that was actually out. So you just kind of just pull and then just twist. I don't know you guys. I hope you guys are able to understand how I actually flat twist. So as you guys saw, I kind of messed up. So I'm just going to go back, slide my finger under the remaining hair that's left out, and then wrap it around the strand that I was holding onto with my left hand, but will be my right hand facing you guys. So I hope you guys understand that. It took me a while to actually learn how to flat twist. And when I finally got it down, however I finally learned it, that's just how I learned it. And so this is how I actually flat twist. But the main focus is to make sure that the hair is actually taut and to make sure that you actually have the strands tightly twisted around each other to get the definition that you're looking for. So this is what it looks like when you've actually done flat twisting that whole section down. And so now we're just going to twist that down a little bit further, but just make sure to detangle the hair because that's very important as well to make sure that the style turns out very smooth and very pretty. So we're just going to apply a little bit more of the styling custard. Again, from Botanical Bliss. I love this stuff, you guys. It just smells so freaking good. And we're just going to detangle. And as you guys can see, I'm just trying to make sure that I have it twisted further down enough to make sure it actually goes around the perm rod. So now we're just going to take the purple perm rod, and again, I should have been twisting from the ends and not near the root. I know I've watched a couple tutorials where people do it this way that you guys see me doing it, but the proper technique is to actually wrap the ends of your hair first and then work your way towards the root. 
So you just want to make sure that the ends again are lying flat and then when you go to secure the perm rod make sure that you actually have the band facing towards your um, scalp so that way you can hold the perm rod actually in place. So again this is just a sped up clip of me actually flat twisting the remaining section of my hair you guys i love flat twists honestly they're actually pretty convenient if you actually take your time and do this style properly but yeah i love um flat twists you guys they're actually pretty convenient they're no different to me as a two strand twist and they will give your hair that definition that you're looking for as long as your hair dries in a timely manner So this is what my hair looks like after all the sections have been flat twisted down and secured with a perm rod. I don't know why I had that clamp in the back, you guys. Excuse that clamp. <laughs> it's just rude right now but yeah so i went to bed and i just slept with my silk scarf you guys and i didn't have any problems sleeping on them because of the way that the back is actually twisted down so i'm just going to take a little bit of my marula oil <clears throat> excuse me and then we're just going to take down the perm rods in the opposite direction so as you guys can see that's what i was going for with that initial perm rod that i took down but then when i started actually unraveling the other perm rods in the back it gave my hair a wave effect so if you guys have seen my recent natural hair update you guys will know why my hair turned out this way because i needed to allot my hair more drying time my hair is soft it's pretty and everything but um definitely drying time makes a big difference and also too um actually how you style your hair using the perm rods makes a difference as well so I'm just going to take down the remaining perm rods, you guys. And you know how it goes on those days when you think you're having a bad hair day and then everyone thinks you're having a fly-ass hair day. Yeah, this was one of those days. So that's why I decided to go ahead and post this tutorial, even though it didn't turn out the way that I initially wanted it. Still, I need to show you guys the trial and errors that we go through with styling our hair because not every time that we style our hair does it come out perfect. So for me, I'm uploading this so that way I can learn from it and so that way you guys can learn from the mistakes that I've made. So as you guys can see in the back, it's really fluffy. It was really pretty. I mean, it just didn't turn out the way that I thought it was going to turn out. But once I actually went in and just, you know, fluffed it and kind of se separated it a little bit more, it turned out nice by the time I had gotten to work. So now we're moving on to the front, you guys. And this is my only concern, though. As you guys can see, I already took down one of them, and that's when I noticed that my front ends hadn't dried. And I think, again, it's because of the drying time. I think if it was just dried properly, the style would have turned out exactly how I wanted it to. But again, like I stated earlier, you should wrap the ends of your hair first when actually using the perm rods versus starting at the root. Again, you guys, I did watch a, two, a few tutorials where some girls were doing it that way, so that's why I did it that way, but it didn't work out that way for my hair. So just start at the ends first when rolling the actual perm rod to actually give your hair that definition that you're looking for. Another tip when taking down your flat twists, you want to make sure that you find that little piece of hair that's actually holding those two strands of hair together so that way you can unravel your hair properly. Um, you guys, when I was transitioning, I wore, twist, I wore flat twists all the time, so that's how I know exactly what to do. But it just didn't dry in enough time, but oh my gosh, my fro was so freaking big that day. I think that's the only thing that I really loved about it. But again, this was just one of those days everyone loved my hair. And yeah, you guys, so this is what it looked like. Um, you guys pretty much have an uh, idea, I hope, of what I was uh, trying to achieve. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.